everybody welcome back to the channel today i have a quick walk around video on this 2023 kia sportage this is the x line trim level so this is like the uh the first one first trim level that's kind of more aggressive more off-road worthy um and it's got some really nice styling here with the black axes and stuff like that but overall we're going to go over the x line trim level and what that gives you and also we're going to go over this 2023 kia sportage because it is all new for 2023 the sportage is completely redesigned for 2023 let's go over some of the specs and the details and let's get this video started right now all right so let's start off with the front end design on this new kia sportage so with the new design redesign here you do have these led daytime running lights that do go all the way down to uh the bottom of the headlight design which is right here so you have the headlights led headlights here on the kia sportage with that led daytime running light you also have your turn signals built right in right there as well coming on over to the tiger face grill here you have your black grill that stretches across on this x line trim level which is nice you also do have this satin chrome finish um, right there in the middle that stretches all the way from headlight to headlight just to kind of connect the whole face there as well nice big kia logo you also do have this incredibly nice sapphire blue paint color that you find here on this Kia Sportage. You can also find this color on the new um, Kia Sorento and on the new uh, Kia K5 there um, as well, which is nice. So coming on down to the bottom, you do have little foam air vents here. You also do have the satin chrome finish here on the bottom of this uh, Exxon trim level with the uh, the regular black plastic on the bottom there to give it more of a rugged look overall on the vehicle. Hood design here on the Kia Sportage is more of a slant here to give you a nice view um, right over the front there. It doesn't make you feel like a big SUV. And then wheel design here, you do have these black accented wheels that do have a nice silver finish there um, on it as well. You do also get the new Kia logo. And these wheels um, are very nicely designed. They're, they're aggressive looking. They're nice. Um, the black color really kind of makes it stand out here um, on this X-Line trim level as well. Black mirror caps here on the vehicle with your LED turn signal and you do have black uh, roof rails on the top there. This one has what's called the X-Line Premium Package, which gives you the uh, panoramic sunroof as well, which we'll go over when we get on the inside. But overall, very clean, very aggressive, very rugged looking SUV. Um, and it's also a good looking SUV um, that Kia did with the redesign of this 2023 Kia Sportage. Let's go to the, uh, actually, let's go underneath the hood and let's talk about the engine in this Kia Sportage. All right, so welcome underneath the hood here in this 2023 Kia Sportage. Now, in the regular gas uh, engine option here, there is only one engine option for 2023, and it's this 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine that has made it to an eight-speed automatic transmission. You do get 25 miles of combined fuel economy. Um, the city and the highway combined there, it's uh, an average of 25 miles per gallon there. So. 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. Now, there is other options for other engines in the Kia Sportage lineup, but it's not a gas only engine. The only gas engine is again, this 2.5 liter. If you do want better fuel economy, you have two hybrid options. You have a regular a hybrid option that is uh, a regular engine hooked up with a hybrid battery system. Um, and that gives you right around 38 miles of EPA estimated range. You also do have the option to get a plug-in hybrid Kia Sportage. It's not available just yet. Um, there are there, That engine spec is coming out soon, um, but we haven't seen any of the uh, those plug-in hybrids hit the dealership um, just yet. We have had a hybrid hit, just not the plug-in hybrid um, just yet there. But in this Kia Sportage X-Line, you have this 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine made it to an eight-speed automatic transmission. Let's go around to the back because with this new generation, you do get more cargo space in the 23 Kia Sportage. Okay, welcome to the back of the Kia Sportage. So again, all new, complete redesign here on the back of the Kia Sportage for 2023. Let's start with the top. So again, from the front, you have these black roof rails that are gloss black here on this X-Line. Up on the top, you also do have the shark fin antenna style that is a gloss black as well. That leads then all the way down to the spoiler here on the back with your third brake light. This is body colored on the top there with some black accents that do actually carry from the uh, the panel here behind the, the window here, right behind the second row. Uh, it's kind of a gloss black finish here and that gloss black finish continues all the way to this, uh, you know, kind of spoiler design here on the back of the window. So on the back here, you also see that you don't have a rear wiper here that you're, you have visibility of. 
but it is actually underneath and tucked up underneath the spoiler here in the back so it creates, creates this very flush design all the way across the back of the, uh, the vehicle down below that you do have your led uh back or, or brake lights here on the back you also have your turn signals and your reverse lights um I'm sorry, turn signals, and then your reverse lights are down here, actually. Um, I was just talking about reverse lights, and then I realized, wait a second, they're not actually up there. They're actually down here in the middle of the Kia Sportage, which I do have a small problem with here from Kia. Because they're de located down there in the middle of the, uh, the Kia Sportage, they may not be seen as easy as if you have two different uh, reverse lights there up towards the top there. They're a little bit harder to see, especially if someone's behind you, maybe in a big truck, um, or any any scenario there, if folks are walking behind you, it may be uh, easier to see them in the, the taillights that are up top there versus down at the bottom there. Small little gripe there, um, but I would just say if, if I were Kia, I would put them up right up top here so it's very clean and very visible. Um, coming on over, you do have this uh, taillight design that stretches all the way across to this, the other side there, there, but it is actually not lit up. It's just a black uh, piece of plastic there that leads across there. It just gives it a nice cohesive look. Down below that, you have the nice big Kia logo. You do here have on this side X line spelled out right there, and you have Sportage on the other side as well. Now, you'll see that there is no all wheel drive badge here on the back there, but because it is this X line, you'll know that it is all wheel drive. Now, down below that, you have this black plastic and the satin chrome finish on the bottom. You also do have sensors down here on the bottom. You do actually get those sensors all the way on the base LX trim. And what those will do, um, they're working with the backup camera. And as you're backing up, if you get close to something, they will actually beep at you to tell you, hey, get your stop, stop. You're, you're getting close to something. And you'll hear it's audible sounds inside as you're backing up. And again, you can see the backup camera as well. So you can see what's behind you, but that will give you a little bit more visibility um, as well. Let's pop this trunk open and you're gonna notice that it is a power trunk here on this X-Line premium package with the sunroof. Very nice. Now you'll see that uh, up top here, you do have, uh, I'm sorry, you can't see it in the camera there. There it is. Uh, I'll have to push this back up, but you can, and talking about this, you can adjust this. Uh, so if you have a um, garage door or a garage in general that's maybe a little bit shorter, you can actually adjust this so it doesn't um, hit the top of the garage. But you do have your button here for the power lift gate. I'm gonna push this back up. And uh, coming over here, you do have uh, plenty of space in the back here. And that is what really um, was a nice touch here when Kia redesigned the 23 Kia Sportage. They increased the volume uh, that you could carry the cargo side um, back here in the back there. So the cargo area is bigger here for 2023. You do have a 12 volt power outlet back here. You'll see that you have your floor mats, which are very nice. Those are always, always nice to come with the vehicle. Um, you also do have this little storage area or this floor that actually comes out of the vehicle. You do have a spare tire here in this uh, X line that's right located right below this floor, but you can actually push this floor all the way down and then it actually gives you about two to three inches more of space um, that goes down a little bit further so you can actually put a little more taller stuff inside the vehicle. Now, if you want a flat floor that goes from the cargo area uh, on top of the second row seats when you lay them down, you do have to pull that back up. But if you don't have the second row seats down, you can push that down a little bit and gives you a little more cargo space. Talking about the second row seats, um, you do have these handles back here that you can actually pull and it will actually force the second row seats down and they'll lay flat so that way if you're sitting back here with a piece of plywood um, or anything that's a little bit longer and you need that second row to be put down you can pull the levers on both sides there and uh, the seats will then lay down flat you can then slide your uh, long item in there and uh, you don't have to go up to the second row to put those down so nice little touch there on the back of this Kia Sport it's overall a very nice uh, trunk area and it gives you plenty of uh, space to put stuff in there let's go up to the second row in the window sticker now Alrighty guys, welcome to the second row in this Kia Sportage. Before we jump into the second row itself, uh, I'm gonna talk about the window sticker here. So it is a 23 Sportage X-Line, uh, 25 miles per gallon combined high, uh, combined fuel economy there. Um, that breaks down to 23 in the city, 28 on the highway. Uh, and this vehicle's cost MSRP $33,740. Now, Something I did want to talk about because this is new for 2023. If you get an EX or above, so EX, X-Line, X-Pro, SX, SX Prestige, any trim level that is not an LX, the vehicle is actually being built in West Point, Georgia. Before, they were all being built in Korea. 
Now, any trim level above LX is being built right here in the USA um, at the West Point Georgia plant that then produces the Kia K5, the Kia Telluride, and the Kia uh, Sorento, along with now this Kia Sportage. So very nice to have the vehicle produced here in the USA. Engine and transmission are also have country of origin here in the USA. Let's pop this door open. Body, body color door handle here on this Sportage X-Line, very nice. And then coming over to the inside of the vehicle here, you're gonna have this nice wood grain finish here, um, or faux wood grain finish here on the Kia Sportage. You also do have um, your your handle here that is a like satin chrome look there, but overall nice big grab uh, or big handle here on the door. I keep calling it a grab handle, I don't know why, but uh, door handle here on the door. Black plastic here on the top. You do have a little uh, bit of faux leather um, that leads all the way down to this nicely padded armrest that has that uh, faux leather as well. You do have this gloss black finish that may get pretty dirty, but we'll see. Um, you also have your power window option right there, and then a cup holder down at the bottom. Down on the, uh, the bottom of the speaker here, you also do have this nice chrome finish there uh, that kind of just keeps everything cohesive here on the vehicle. Inside, you do have this leatherette finish here on the inside of the vehicle. Let me adjust the camera and show you that inside. All right, so now that you can see the inside of this Kia Sportage in the second row, so you'll see on the seats here, you have this nice leatherette finish here um, that's very comfortable. You also do have like this quilt pattern actually on the seat that makes it stand out and it's very, very incredibly nice. Um, overall, comfort level is a 10 out of 10 in my books. Very comfortable. Uh, this These leatherette seats are actually also perforated back here um, so they don't make you sweat as much as a traditional leatherette or leather seating surfaces there. You'll see on the back of the uh, headrest here in the front, you also do have a little hanger spot where you can put actually hanger and put maybe a suit back here. Um, and it's just overall, that's very nice. In the center here of the uh, the middle seats, you do have a cup holder with two cup holders and an armrest here um, attached that does go sliding back up. You do also do get two air vents back here in the back and you have a little storage nook down here at the bottom. In the uh, on the back side of the driver's seat, you also do have these uh, nice leatherette finished pockets um, that are yeah pockets there uh, that you can put some stuff in the back there as well. Now, you may say, where are the the USB ports? Well, in the Kia Sportage and in a lot of the Kias uh, nowadays, they actually put the charging ports in the back of the seat there. So they are USB Cs in the back of these two driver seats right here and right here, where you can plug your device in and charge your device right back here. Very nice nice design, um, pretty cool. I mean, they already have electronics going to these seats, so why not put the USB right there um, and have the, the devices being charged right from the seats there? Pretty interesting and pretty cool that, that Kia thought of that. Very, very nice. Um, just overall, look at the leg run back here. Let me jump in and I'll show you. So I am 5'9", um, and these seats are adjusted to where um, someone who's about 5'9 would sit there. They could put the seat back a little bit to be a little more comfortable. But here's the thing. I still have about a foot and a half of leg room here. Um, and if I sit here and behind this seat, um, this is where I drove um, the car right over here. So let me slide over and you'll see that 5'9". I was driving this car a second ago, and now I still have about a foot and a half of space back here. Maybe a foot, uh, maybe I'm over exaggerating a little bit, but uh, a good foot of space here in the back. The other thing is, is look at this seat. So with the seat here, there's a handle down here. You can actually recline these seats, uh, and I can just sit back, chillax, and uh, look above my head out this uh, this panoramic sunroof, which I'll show you in a second. But just overall, tons of space here in the back of the Kia Sportage. Very nice design, very comfortable. Let's go up to the first row. All right, so driver side door of this Kia Sportage. Before I get in, I want to show you the key here. So this is a smart key access. You do have the Kia logo right there. I do apologize if you guys hear a little bit of wind. It's a little bit windy out right now. But Kia logo right there. You also have this little circle here, or half circle, that says hold. This is actually for your remote start on the vehicle. Um, you, what you do is you lock it twice, which the lock button's right there, lock it twice, and then press and hold that button until you see the lights flash, and then it will remote start and uh, keep the vehicle nice and cool during the hot summer days like today, or you can warm the vehicle up in those cold days where maybe you have some snow, some ice, or just overall just a cold, um, cold outside there. So on the uh, lock button, unlock button, you have your button to hold there for the actual um, power lift gate in the rear, and then you also have your hazard emergency button right there on the key. Overall, very comfortable. I'm gonna put the key in my pocket now and let's jump inside um, the vehicle. So I can unlock and lock the door. So by a little, this little black button here on the door, I just press it and it is now locked. So 
pulling the back door and it doesn't unlock for me. Now, if I go over and I press that black button again with the key in my pocket, it will then unlock the door. I don't have to get the key out of my pocket at all. So, very nice. Now, coming on over to the door here, you do have this uh, faux wood looking grain here, which is very good. Uh, looks very good in this X-Line trim. You also do have the chrome door handle here. Again, that's very nicely designed. Leather uh, armrest that's very comfortable. And you have this gloss black finish here on the door, which again, I think is going to get a little dirty. Could be wrong though. Power windows, power locks, power mirrors. You got it all right there on the door panel. You do have a power seat on this driver's side here. Um, and let's actually readjust the camera and I'll show you that power seat real quick. All right, so now we're down here at the driver's seat here on this Kia Sportage. So you'll see that you have a forward, a backwards. You also have the recline on the top seats there. You also do have this little section here where you can actually press up and down and it actually extend or pulls up the cushion there um, underneath your thighs. I don't know if you can see that, um, but just it, it kind of makes it very comfortable. You also do have two-way lumbar support here on this power seat. Again, a leatherette finishes here on the seat and you do have heated seats here in this X-Line trim level. Let's jump on the inside and look at some of these screens and the touch screen and the fully digital cluster right in the middle very nice all right so i'm gonna give you a view outside the front of this kia sportage overall a very nice view outside this vehicle coming on top here you do have this uh, panoramic sunroof that actually stretches all the way to the back behind the second row seats there um, and this is a power adjustable sunroof which i'll show you all the features here um, right on the top there for that so coming over here you do have these lights that you just tap and they turn on pretty cool you also have your dome light feature you also do over here have what's uh, called the basically when you open the doors lights turn on all the dome lights turn on which i recommend having one and you have your power controls for the sunroof right there come on down a little bit further you do have your uh, rear view mirror right here and then behind that you'll see this black plastic box that's actually for your uh, some of your safety features like your lane keeping assist and your um, autonomous emergency braking system right there coming down a little bit further you have this huge touch screen here right in the middle that does have navigation you also do that leads all the way across it's kind of basically completely flush um, you'll see there that it leads all the way across to your digital dash um, right there in the middle which you'll see that it has a you know, digital speedometer, digital tachometer, and all that stuff. But let's go back over to this touch screen here because um, I want to show you the, uh, the system here. So you have uh, navigation. You also do have your uh, features here for, let me get back to home. You also do have your uh, navigation. Again, like I said, you have your radio features here which I'll turn down. You can also press the home button at the top there and uh, siphon through a whole bunch of different things. Now this does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Coming on down a little bit further, you do have uh, two nicely placed air vents with your hazard lights right in the middle. And then down a little bit further than that, you have this pretty cool technology that was first found on the uh, EV6. And what this does is this screen actually turns uh, when I press these buttons right here. So you have your navigation or your, your radio controls there with the infotainment system. You also have all your controls for your climate control uh, right down here as well. And this does have dual zone climate control. You'll see I'll turn temperature, uh, the temperature knob there. And, uh, and the temperature changes. So pretty cool design there and it saves a lot of space below that. So coming on down below here, you do have uh, some USB chargers and a 12 volt power outlet. Um, what you have here is a fast charging USB-C. Thank you Kia for putting that in. A USB-A that hooks up to the infotainment system and a 12 volt power outlet right there. You also do have a wireless charging pad right there, which is pretty nice. Coming down a little bit further, you have your push button start button right there and you'll see that it just says engine start stop. A little bit further or a little over to the right there you have your power, um, your heated seats there. Uh, these are three zone heated seats for both the front two passengers. You just press the button, turn them on. You have your shifter that's hooked up to your eight speed automatic transmission. And then you also have two nicely sized cup holders. Now, if you have a drink that's a little bit big, you actually can tuck these, uh, these little sections in and it gives you more space here for bigger drinks. Now, if you have a smaller uh, drink that you need to put in there, just press the button and it folds right out. Pretty cool. Coming on over here, you do have your uh, different um, drive modes that are right here, and I'll actually show you here on the center screen. You'll see that it has normal, sport, smart, and, uh, and snow mode there are right in the middle. You also do have, right in the middle, you have that all-wheel drive locking feature, which is pretty cool. Uh, parking sensors, you can turn them off here. You also have your camera uh, views right here as well. When you put this car in reverse, it will do the same thing and show up the cameras, but just in case you need to see them while you're parked still, you do have your downhill 
assist control plus you have your auto hold with the uh, parking brake and your auto stop start uh, system. Now coming over to the uh, the armrest here, a nicely padded armrest. Um, looks like a, a whole bunch of plastic in there um, from the PDI process. Uh, this is just a part of the, the pl plastic that actually Kia puts in the vehicle. I'll throw that in the trash here in a second. But um, overall, nice storage area down there with a little felt lining as well. Coming on over to the steering wheel here, you have this leather wrap steering wheel. Feels good in the hands, very thick and firm. Um, very nice, you have this little 10 and two notches there as well. Coming over to the controls, you have your voice control, you have your volume up down, you have your answer button. You also have this custom button that you can actually set to your preferences in the system. Coming over to the right side, you do have your uh, cruise control settings and your lane departure warning um, settings. And this also is where you're gonna control the center screen here in the, uh, in the digital cluster. So you'll see that you can go through uh, different things in here like fuel economy, uh, safety control, all that good stuff there um, inside the screen. Now, you also do have your digital speedometer and digital tachometer, and you have your fuel gauges and your hot cold gauges uh, right there. So that's a quick little walk around here on the Kia Sportage. Let me jump out and finish this video up. Alrighty, everybody, thank you so much for watching to this point in the video. This has been a quick walk around video on this 2023 Kia Sportage X line. Absolutely awesome vehicle, very, very nice, and uh, you know, just overall very aggressive and a good redesign by Kia for 2023 let me know what you think down in the comment section below do you think this is one of the best uh, compact uh, crossovers in the segment it goes up against the toyota rav4 the honda crv um, the jeep compass the ford escape the chevy uh, equinox and a whole bunch of list of other ones like the nissan rogue and the the volkswagen tiguan so let me know what you think in the comment section below which one would you buy um, in that segment there and what do you think of the Kia Sportage? Thank you all so much for watching. And if you could, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It would help me out so, so, so much. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you all so much, and I will see you in the next video.